school. Excellent. I'm glad you're going back. Yeah, I'm going back to school. I'm going to be an engineer. That's so. awesome. I'm really happy for you. I just got my degree. So yeah. So uh, when are you going to run this event on a weekend? We can. Um, we have, and then I'll just talk of something. But I'm not sure when. It's it's more so just lining it up with no yeah. bad schedule because yeah. they like booking out this this room on the weekends. Yeah. It's 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 a really great ball ballroom though. Yeah. yeah, a lot of space. Well, we can run hundred man weeklies for Smash and be fine. Yeah. So. Yeah. We can run just about anything in here. That's pretty much yeah. So Flo, Yo, how, you, how are you feeling today? You feeling uh, good? So today I actually wasn't I was actually nervous for today because I wasn't really playing as much as I usually do. Like I was talking to my girlfriend beforehand. I was like, either lab only lab a few hours. I don't net play anymore actually. Ah. Oh. So and I've been playing a lot more BB tag on mm. the side. I it's just a like I love the game. Like it's really fun. It's a nice break from this. Like I've been going nonstop on this game like for a while so it was nice it's like i have a couple of release games that can kind of just be like <sighs> and like so i've been doing that so like i had to freshen up on certain things like i had a couple warm-up games today um but for the most part i was really confident with today like i walked in i was like you know what i'm just gonna go just play my thing like go ahead um one thing though is like kites finally catching up like that was one thing like we were we were talking a lot during the set because i feel like at that point you know like i wanted him to know and like he's probably gonna watch this back, and I was like, I want you to know that you are getting there, and a lot of these players are getting there. But I feel like you you get so worked up, and a lot of players do. And that's just natural. And there's just certain situations where it can go either way. Like honestly, I thought it was gonna be a reset tonight. I mean, it looked like it was going to, especially towards uh, that game two. Kite kind of seemed to uh, pull it back a little bit, but yeah. uh, after that game three, it seemed like I feel like. Kite and I kind of talked about this earlier too. I feel like, I feel like Kite could really stand like, kind of force a little bit more of a pause in yeah. between games because yeah. it feels like he is definitely one of those players where he kind of needs that mental reset. Yeah, I, like when he's I used when to he's be like that playing too. on point, he's dangerous. No, like, that's why a lot of people like a lot of people in CT and just in general, right? Like have that mentality. It's like I can if I can steamroll, I can steamroll. But like a lot of times, like even for myself, like I need like there's sometimes I actually like that's why I drink water in between characters because I have that much time. Yeah. I can only pull out my water, take a sip, and be like, okay, what can I do? I mean, plus on top of that, it's enough of a mental reset where yeah. like even in the middle of a game, like it's, it's just enough to kind of like slow yeah. you down, catch your breath, rethink. Yeah. You're especially because in between characters in a game like Dragon Ball, where you're forced back into a, a neutral situation. You have to start thinking from the beginning again. It's I like, agree. okay, I'm not starting from advantage. I have to start from neutral. Pure neutral. Pure like if I press the wrong button, I'm getting fucked up. That's that's neutral. why I that's why I really like my team because like I've been playing it for a long time. Like I haven't like really deteriorated. Actually, I did post a picture on my Twitter. Um you can follow me there, self plug. Um it's right there. Yeah. Um I actually posted the very first um team I played in bracket. And I and I'm playing Gohan Piccolo since launch, since beta. And I I feel like the team's really strong. It has some loose ends. It's not Bardock Piccolo, but I feel like Piccolo is kind of like moved down the tier list a bit because GT Goku is. I feel like GT Goku is way better than Piccolo in some in most aspects. Like you don't need to burn as much bar, versus like you can just throw the, the ball out and it's negative. It's only negative five. So it's like you can just make boop negative five. Um, but yeah, no, I really I feel really good today. I. I'm always grateful to have this weekly because before it was like I only had like like to travel and net play. Now I have a consistent weekly I can take on my schedule, um, and it's nice. Like honestly, my, my beginning of the week is like I do my podcast and then I do this, and it's like the rest of the week I'm either doing other stuff or like I haven't been able to travel recently. And so it's you know I'm just I'm for me right now I just, I'd rather be here for these players and. Honestly, kudos to Gok, kudos to Mozo, and like I know we're missing a few people, but everyone's getting way better. I'm yeah. really happy about it. Yeah, I would say this week was probably the smallest I've seen in a while, but even then, the smallest being like 10, when like I'd say your average is probably closer to like 14 to 16. Yeah, like, you guys pull in really good numbers. Yeah, I think it's because too, like I mentioned this to Bean, um, it is season two, like, and that was the one thing I pitched. I was like, this is season two, it's a brand new game pretty much. Like yeah, once a lot different. there was a lot, it wasn't like before, like you had to play, like it felt like you had to play a certain amount of characters and like you had a couple people like kind of deteriorate from Bardock and stuff like that. But you like, we only have like two Bardocks, three Bardocks for most of the cast here. And that's one thing I do appreciate is the character variety we have. So, um, 
But yeah, no, I'm really, really grateful for this every week. Um, I come in with like the biggest smile on my face, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna play. You do. He walks in like a goddamn goofball every week. It's it's weird. Like today, like, and real quick, shout out to my girlfriend, right? So I told her, and this is the second time this happened. I was like, listen, if I we're gonna go get something tomorrow, she's like, oh okay, like whatever. And if I win, it's on me, and it was gonna be on me regardless. Treat, treat, treat your girlfriends sometimes, man. Men out there, like you gotta treat, you gotta treat them right. Also, treat your boyfriends. Treat your boyfriends right. You gotta treat girls them. out there. Yeah, treat, treat yourself. You, treat, it's equality out here. You just gotta treat yeah. everybody. So I told her, I was like, listen, if I win, we're gonna get it. I'll get potato pancakes. And I literally screamed, I can get potato pancakes now. So I know, yeah, but um, as I have, man. Uh yeah. In terms of stuff that I'm planning on doing, I can't reveal anything yet. It Ooh. is top secret. You might hear stuff from, I'm going to give one hit, keep a lookout on GBS in a couple weeks. Um, I'm trying to work with them on something big. Um, and it's going it to probably change the course of DBZ and CT. Wow. And, and I'm really excited um, to do it. And But in terms of other events, probably, def hopefully Defend the North. Um, again, depends on my internship. Defend the North and then maybe... The fall is mostly where I'm going to be traveling. So, like, Retro Rumble, I'm going to be back for. Um, you better be back I'm, for Retro Rumble. Uh, yeah, um, I'm going to be back for Retro Rumble. I'm going to be back for. I'm actually going to be trying to go to Battle of the East, ECT, stuff like that. If you guys are in Connecticut, you have no excuse not to go to ECT. Register now, please. If you're in Connecticut, you have no excuse to go to, not go to Retro Rumble. And Nomads. And if you guys are in near the Windsor area, Hartford area, again, we have a lot of great players here. Even um, if you're not, if you're from Bridgeport, people yeah. start pull up. Like, Dayman is one of our best players in Connecticut. Like I, he's one of my training partners. Actually, I don't train with a lot of people anymore. Like I train with Nokami at times. Yeah. So yeah, like there's yes. a lot. Everybody's scattered. Shout out to um, Gangstar for coming back. Like, yeah. I, he's really strong. Like, Been a hot medicine this year. Yeah. yeah. So, um, do you have anything to ask me? Uh, I mean, what's your favorite kind of pizza? Favorite kind. Oh, I'm gonna get yelled at for this. You better. Oh God. Do it. Oh no. Do it on stream in front of four people. Bacon Hawaiian pizza. No cap. All right. All right, I respect it. I respect it. Also, a lot. I want to apologize to Duel for teasing him with Krillin. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. All right, well, off of the uh, yeah. the mention of a Krillin yeah. tease. Yeah, uh, <laughs> follow me at Folky FGC on Twitter and on Twitch. There. I stream BB Tag and um, I stream Dragon Ball. Follow this dude. This dude's been, I literally see him every time on Discord posting his Twitch. Follow this dude on Twitch. I'm grinding, man. I'm trying. You've been I'm, grinding. I've, I'm doing what I can. You can follow me on every single social media you can find at SSB Kazarian. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, um, YouTube. YouTube, although my YouTube is YouTube. Yeah, slash I don't, user I don't, slash I don't, gaming I don't really jack 24 7. I don't really use YouTube yet. I don't know what kind of content I'm going to I got that yet, young so. restream, so every yeah, single one of my streams just go straight to there. See, that should be the tech for me. It's the tech. It's free. Oh, okay. You don't I'm even... I'll look into that. Unless you're streaming to Facebook, you don't have to pay for it. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Very good to know. Okay. It's going to... Well, uh, the Facebook thing is free if you're posting to your own page. If you're posting to, like, a public page, you still have to pay for it. But At least for yeah. the temporary time being. But, yeah. Make sure you guys... Um, um, I did get confirmation that every other week is going to be Dragon Ball stream. So, guys, if you liked what you saw tonight, please follow this channel. Um, they do awesome Smash Weeklies on Mondays, and then Tuesdays, every other Tuesday is Street Fighter, every other Tuesday is this. Um, they also do um, PM on Thursdays, and a bunch of other stuff. And so occasionally 64. Six, occasionally 64. Shout out to Heifer, he's a 64 guy. Yeah, he Gang. knows uh, He knows my buddies too. Gang. Um, but the more you want to support these games, and I cannot stress this enough, if you want to support these games, please, you need to follow the channels, mention it to us. The more you bring up how much you want to see these games, the more we will give you. That's yeah. guaranteed. Like if you if you contact us at Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, Smashcast, I can't believe I know that one, and Snapchat. We still have Snapchat. I don't know why we still have Snapchat, but we have Snapchat. Honestly, if you do Snapchat chat takeovers, I think it'll be cool. But yeah, no, like yeah, seriously, we should, we should consider having. Yeah, but do seriously, that. please follow on all those platforms. They've been doing nothing but God's work. But yeah. Keep on the lookout for more DBZ here. Um, and then, yeah. And with that said, thank you for joining us for another night of Obelisk and Aeon. I've been Kaz. I've this been is Floki. Floki. Have yourselves a fantastic night, and take care. See ya.